Yes. I actually wrote the chorus and I wrote it and performed on it. No, I didn't do the beat for um, How to Rob. Trackmaster did the beat for How to Rob and their A and their A and R Rich Nice, they didn't have a chorus for it. So Rich Nice knew that Rich Nice was the A and R for them who's also on the Sway, you know, the Sway show. Um, shout out to Rich Nice. He called me up at like two in the morning, it was pouring down rain, I was getting ready to go home. And um, he, he asked me, could I do him a favor and listen to this record because he really needed a chorus for it. So he shot by the studio, played it for me. I thought it was great. I had never even met 50 yet. So I thought it was great and I said, sure, I'll do it. So I wrote the chorus right then and there, recorded it. He took it back to Trackmasters and 50, they loved it. Then we arranged for a meeting for me to meet 50. I met him, told him how much I loved the record and said I'm with him all the way. Um, and then next thing I know, I had an album coming out and he was getting ready to rock, so we went on the road together. We, me and 50 did a lot of shows together when Tony Yayo was first coming up. We went on the road together. We did, you know, parade. We did the African Day Parade, and we did the Puerto Rican Day Parade. We did a whole bunch of stuff together in New York and shows around the city. We did the tunnel. We did a whole bunch of things. You know, we went to D.C., we did Philly. We did a whole bunch of stuff together off that record. Oh, I could tell you, pun, big pun, God bless the dead, Missy. Obviously, Jay didn't like it because he addressed it. You know, he was like, I'm about a dollar. Who the fuck is 50 cents? So Jay went about it. But Missy was mad. Uh, big pun. Like I said, God bless him. Um, actually, on the original record for How to Rob, um, 50 mentioned Mariah and Tommy Matola. But Mariah wouldn't let us put the record out with, with, Tom, with her name on it. So she made 50 change it to Case and Mary J. Blige. So that's why Case and Mary that's why Case and Mary's name ended up getting mentioned, but originally it was Tommy and Mariah. It was the same line like Mary and Case. You know, like like how did, how did that go? Um something like you ain't with Tommy no more, what you gonna do now? Like something like that. Somewhere around there, you know what I'm saying? Or some I don't remember the exact line, but it was it was similar to the Mary and Case line and he just had to change the names because Mariah wouldn't let it come out. But I'm not exactly sure about, you know, the exact line it was. It was a long time ago. My, my memory ain't all that. <laughs> um, I believe, yeah, I think RZA was because he talked about the rings and all of that. I believe RZA, I believe RZA was a little upset. But, yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't get to speak to everybody, but I spoke to Missy about it. Spoke to Pun about it. God bless him. And, I, you know, after I spoke to them, explained to them my position, because I was already doing records with some of these people, so they were a little... Some of them were a little upset at me also, but after it was all over, I explained to them what it was, and then I asked everybody a simple question. After you got upset, did all of that, I said, basically, did you like the record, though? And I, everybody pretty much liked it. They just hated the fact that their name was mentioned, because back then, and even now, rappers just feel this, this privilege where, no, you can't mention their name in anything, or they're going to diss you back. And, you know, and I, I totally disagree with that. You know what I'm saying? So... That's why I was a part of the record. I'm competing against not just who's hot right now, or who's trendy right now. I'm competing against the whole Canada music. Like when I think about the greats like Big Daddy Kane and Rakim, they still in my top 10. Kendrick Lamar is creeping up into my top 10, but he only put out one official, official album and a couple mixtapes. But Drake hit me up and was like, yo, I, I think people misconstrued in this tweet I just tweeted because I didn't, he didn't hear about what I did and my, said about my release party. He was like, yo, you did rip that song. And he was like, yo, I, I think uh, he said that line was from an intro on his album or something, so.